Hi everyone and welcome to Miss Estrick Biology. First of all, a huge thank you to everyone who submitted an essay to make this video possible. What I'm going to be doing in today's video is marking three of the essays I've had submitted just to show you a lower score, a medium score and a higher score essay. Now if you haven't already seen my videos on how to write an essay, then check out these two just up here. Would it be up there? I'm saying up there, they'll be up there. Now I've put the time codes here at the bottom, so if you do want to skip ahead to either the low, mid, high essay, then you can do that. But for now, let's get started then. So what I'm gonna do is write as we go, marking these essays. Before we get started, I think I'm gonna need a copy for this, because that is three essays. Okay, there we go, that's better. Now, before we do start as well, just to let you know, if you aren't already aware, I do have a full set of AQA A-level notes, which would be a great way to speed up your vision and just to help you to come up with content ideas for the essay, because at the end of every topic in my A-level notes, I have a box with essay link suggestions. So if you know that's what you struggle with, coming up with the importance of, or coming up with beyond the spec ideas, then definitely check out my A-level notes to help you with that. Okay, so let's get into marking this first essay. Now, I do recommend that you pause so you have a chance to read it properly because I'm just going to go through at this sped up pace explaining some of these annotations. So first of all, you do not need an introduction. They say this every year in the mark scheme, do not add one. So if we jump straight into the first paragraph, we've got cellulose as one of the polymers. And I've ticked all of the A-level key terms they've included, but I've given an example of some extra detail that they could have added. So hypertonic solutions, for example. But their AO1 was of pretty good A-level standard. It was the AO2, which is the importance of, that was more GCSE. They should have linked it to the light-dependent reactions, for example, photolysis. Then the next polymer we have is polynucleotides. And again, I've ticked through all of the correct A-level terminology, but added in examples of how they could have explained it in more detail. So we've got here an example, the primary structure determines the location of the hydrogen and ionic bonds. This is what determines the 3D tertiary structure. So just giving that extra detail and more full explanation for that AO1. We then go on to this next bit about the role of RNA, which is their importance of, which is a level standard. It kind of looks like this paragraph, they've had all as one, but to me it read more like two topics, one on DNA and one on RNA. For the DNA, I've said superficial A-level, they needed to include the induced fit, and the same with the RNA, or superficial, it could have had more A-level key terms. Then we go on to this next one here, where they're talking about the importance of glycogen. So we've got using glycolysis to make pyruvate, the AO1 was good, the AO2 was pretty good. So that paragraph was well written. Starch I've used as another carbohydrate, so another polysaccharide. And I've just said really should say no effect on the water potential, not just osmosis for that AO1. But on the whole, it was pretty good. AO2 though was GCSE standard. They should have said you can use glucose to make cellulose, talked about its role in respiration, or even how you can convert glucose into glycerol to make lipids. So for this polypeptide example, they're talking about hemoglobin. Again, just a bit of extra detail, more explanation, saying that the oxygen binds more readily because the hemoglobin has a higher affinity at high partial pressures. And I've pointed out you don't need an outro or a conclusion. So overall, there were six relevant topics. They did have AO1, so the facts and then the importance of the AO2 in all of them. 
It was A-level standard in places, but it could have been more detail. So that is why I gave it 16 to 20, but towards the top end, 19 to 20 marks. Right, so the second essay, again, you don't need an introduction. So I've just annotated that to begin with. But then they go on to carbohydrates and they have some good A-level key terms. They have a definition of a condensation reaction, which is bringing it up to A-level standard. And then we go into some AO2. And for this AO2, they have talked about hydrolysis, but that was the only A-level term they used. The rest of that importance of section was GCSE. So it was what we'd call superficial A-level. The proteins paragraph, again, they've got some good AO1 a-level content because they've talked about the condensation reaction but really they need to go into details of the induced fit model to bring it up fully to a-level standard instead of gcse and they need to talk about a link to the primary structure of proteins also for that section next we're then looking at the enzymes so for that ao2 there was very little of it there there's not enough at a-level standard so that was quite a lower mark for the ao2 then we get to the enzymes paragraph and they have talked about hydrolysis but other than that the rest of it was kind of GCSE standard for the enzymes. But I've done a few ticks just to show you where we have got some A-level concepts in there as well. So overall the AO1 was generally A-level standard on that second section that I've highlighted. The AO2 which just spreads over these two parts of the page here that is on the whole GCSE, talking about enzymes and digestion, you knew that at GCSE. So maybe I've said give the role of glucose and amino acids. So where you're saying the importance of co-transport, then talk about the role of glucose in respiration. Polynucleotides, so this is another example of DNA and RNA. The AO1 here is pretty good. We've got lots of key terms. We've got details on the structure of DNA. So that, I've given a tick. That section is really good. Then if we read the AO2, which is going into the importance of, here they start to talk about the DNA replication section. So I'm guessing that's what they're trying to say is the importance of, in terms of DNA, um, the genetic code, and you're able to replicate and pass it on. That wasn't explicitly clear though, so that needs to be demonstrated more clearly that that is the importance of. So I've said there, link to DNA replication as their importance of for that section. So just having a look overall, we can see that we have maybe three or four topics and really you do need four to five. They have explained the A-level um, quite well in places though. So everywhere that I've put a tick was A-level standard, but in other places it does lack detail. So some of it is superficial A-level, meaning you've used the odd keyword, but not fully explained it. So for that reason, and for the fact that there are only three or four topics, it's the 11 to 15 box, but the top end, so about 14 or 15 marks. So the final essay, again, you don't need an introduction, so I've added that as the first point. Then they go on to a paragraph on polysaccharides. Um, they talk about glycosidic bonds, but they've got an error here. They've said that cellulose is only made up of two chains of beta-glucose. You would actually have many chains in parallel, so the slight error there. The AO2 was very brief. I've just got a sentence saying it's important in controlling the plant growth. Um, so it's very brief and of GCSE standard, apart from that term microfibrils that they put in. Then we have amylopectin, which is one of the polymers in starch. So they have said it's branched, um, but I've said say why. So link it to the one to six glycosidic bonds to bring it up to more detailed A-level knowledge. We then have a little bit about um, glycogenesis they've written here, but they actually didn't mean genesis because that means the making of glycogen. They meant the glycogenolysis, so the lysis part, the splitting. So again, a slight error there. And it lacked in detail in places for that one. Um, AO2 was missing altogether, so there wasn't an importance of. I didn't know if maybe when they said amylase allows... They meant that as the importance of, but not explicitly clear enough. So they wouldn't have that marked um, as the AO2. So polypeptides are made of proteins. I think this was just a uh, mistake that they didn't notice in this one, but they're made of amino acids. That is what makes a protein. Um, then not all would be tertiary structure. So they've said here, 
that um, you have proteins and a quaternary structure, but they're not all. So it's just the wording there. So they did have some A-level content for the AO1. They didn't have any AO2 again, which is the importance of the linking to the title. We then have tertiary proteins made of single polypeptide chains, including antibodies. Antibodies are quaternary structure proteins because they have four polypeptide chains, so a slight error there. So the AO1 was quite brief, needed more A-level detail. The AO2 was very, very brief as well, so nowhere near enough A-level detail. We then have glycopeptides and glycoproteins and lipids, but I wasn't quite clear on what they meant by this because they've said glycopeptides including glycoproteins and lipids but they're two different molecules um so for that one i was a little bit confused the final one unfortunately triglycerides and phospholipids are not polymers so i highlighted that in yellow those topics are irrelevant they wouldn't get included they're not marked so if you then look at how many relevant topics we had overall I made that about three to four relevant topics. We had AO1 and some attempts at AO2, which was the importance of, but often it was lacking in detail, missing the A-level key terms. There were a few errors as well throughout. Um, so for that reason, the box that I put it in was the six to 10. And I said it was probably around the 10 marks. So that's it. I hope you found it helpful and that it gave you a better understanding of the AK Mark Scheme and how you can now boost your essay writing to try and get those top grades. If you have found this video helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos.